Hi there, I'm Ming. Hey, wait, higher a bit, higher a bit. Yes, thank you very much. Now that phase 2 has started and we are all back in school and out and about again, I want to try something a little bit more shocking. Now, it's about time for Science O'Clock! Eh, let me teach you a new word today. Zeng. Eh, hey, can you use proper English or not? Sorry, sorry. Zeng means to upgrade or to decorate in Hokkien. And what we're going to do today is we're going to upgrade some metal objects with a little bit of electricity. And with some simple materials, you can etch metal with a unique design, just like what I have here. All you need are one metal object, one 9 volt battery, two wires, one q tip, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of salt in a small cup, masking tape, a pen, and a pen knife. Now, make sure you have adult supervision while you are doing this. First off, we need to make a mask. Hey! Not this kind of mask. Although, please wear a mask when you are outside. Now, I'm talking about masking tape. First, we need to apply a layer of masking tape over the area that you want to etch. Next, draw your design on the masking tape. And cut it out with a pen knife. Time to prepare the circuit. For this, make sure you have an adult. Take two wires and attach one to the positive end and one to the negative end of the battery. The positive end of the wire will be attached to your metal piece. The negative end of the wire will be attached to your Q-tip. Mix the vinegar and salt together in a small cup. Dip the end of the Q-tip into the mixture and apply it all over your design. You should see some bubbling. That is how you know that it's working. Apply it all over the design. Remove the wire and the rest of the masking tape and you will have your design etched into the metal. Wow! What is happening? Vinegar, being an acid, will convert the metal into its ionic form. The electric current will help to speed up this reaction as the vinegar is a pretty weak acid. The salt helps to provide ions that speed up the reaction as well as make the solution more conductive. In the end, the area exposed by the mask will be etched away by the vinegar, leaving behind an image. I like to use this to brand my items. Who knows will be so easy to zeng, eh, sorry, decorate your household object. Metal etching can be used in many applications, most importantly in circuit boards in your devices. Want to know more about electricity? Consider joining our family workshop titled Let's Play where we will learn more and create your own LED light up card. We will be giving a lucky winner 20% discount if you take a photo or video of yourself conducting this experiment and tagging us at the following hashtag. Thanks for tuning in and see you at our next workshop. Bye bye!